Cause I'm a space cowboy and I'm flying through space And I take my gun and I go bang bang! Ah! Ah shoot! And I go bang bang! Ah, I forgot the words to the song! Ah. Eek! Yeah, Beck, you want me to shoot something? No, I want you to stop leaving your feces all over the floor, okay? What did I say? All right, on Earth, we defecate in the toilet, all right? Not on the floor. Well, we're in space, so space rules. No, my ship, my rules, no floor feces. Technically, I did sign my name on the rental agreement, so. No floor feces, Eek. Oh, hey, you know, I get a lot of compliments on my feces. A lot of people really enjoy it. I'm Big Jenkins, and this is my cameraman, co-pilot, and karaoke partner, Eek. Together, we are traversing the universe, exploring new planets, trying new foods, and having adventures at the speed of light. Today, we are exploring Planet 18, known for its barren landscapes and beautiful female inhabitants. Greetings. Why do they always do that? I don't know, it's weird. It's always like, at the same time. They're like in sync or something. It's like whack. They greeted us in a traditional way for their species. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, well, look at that. Um, <laughs> uh, n n nice to meet you. <laughs> it's customary on Planet 18 to travel by holding hands and skipping, which is great because I'm a champion skipper. <laughs> oh, Beck, you okay, buddy? <laughs> ah! Yeah, there's a wall right here. Come on. Okay. It's right here. In their village, the walls are invisible to human eyes. So you can see through these walls too? No, these walls are invisible only to you. Wonderful. Uh, so uh, where's the door? We were tired from our journey, so they let us relax and enjoy the comforts of their planet. They can't see you. They can't see you. Beck, hey, keep doing what you're doing. This is hilarious. Yeah, 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 you're good there. Hey, you, you can't see me, right? I can obviously see you. <laughs> Real funny, Eek. There's walls, okay? But mostly, we just observed our hosts in their natural habitat. So what's your favorite thing about living on this planet? The freedom to run around and chase sticks and not be condemned for it. What do you like most about sticks? I like when people throw them so that I can take it right back to them. Oh, wow. What do you think of that, Beck? Next, they prepared for us a traditional meal with local ingredients. The food was terrible, <laughs> but I wanted to be respectful to our hosts. <laughs> That's yummy. <laughs> you must have had something different than me because mine's disgusting. Hey, don't be rude to our beautiful house. I'm not being rude. I'm being real. <laughs> Stop talking with food in your mouth, Eek. People can't understand you. <laughs> Ladies, why aren't you eating your food? This is the only food that we have left. A new creature has been hunting us down and eating our harvest. We are the last of our species. What? I will slay this beast. You see, I'm not only an explorer, I'm also a warrior. I vow to save you and your people from certain destruction. Yes. You do know that these village people aren't humans, right? Yeah, they're beautiful alien babes, even better. You're missing the point. Going on these adventures is like going to the zoo with you, okay? Except you have to go to each cage at the zoo and have sex with every animal. <laughs> I I'm not having sex with zoo animals, okay? This is me traveling through space, going to other planets, you know, learning and studying, and occasionally I might, you know, make love to a chick that's not all human. <laughs> I don't know, they look kind of dog-like to me. <laughs> they're definitely not dog-like. Hey, can we wrap this up? I got a cake to frost. You just stop leaving your feces everywhere. Hey, build me a litter box and you can tell me where to poop. Until then, it's space rules, baby. Okay, why don't you just poop on the planet? Oh, I did. Yeah, I'm pretty much pooping everywhere I go. I have very active bowels. Those space dogs didn't seem to mind it. They're not space dogs. <laughs> hey, did you remember to lock the transporter door? Yeah. Actually, no. Eek! With the beast on our ship, the question became, were we the hunters or the hunted? Beck, you're gonna love this shot. You look epic. Cool. Uh, okay. This is intense. We should play like, 
Like hunt, a hunting song or something. I can't just play music out of thin air. Oh wait, yeah I can right here. Yeah, I like it. Here come Rose in her bright red dress. Smoking hot, I do confess she's on fire. Rosalie is on fire. Oh, oh Rosalie is on fire. Finally, we encountered our beast. <laughs> Beck is sniffing my butt! Beck is biting my butt! Beck! Welcome to space. Now that thing is dog-like! After slaying the terrifying creature, we noticed a familiar blue residue around his mouth. Space rules. And then the beast went out to eat because he likes his poop or something, but then I slayed it right in the head. Tell us more about the poop. Yes, Eek is a true hero with his delicious yummy poo. Oh! Stop it, you're making me blush. Now that our village is safe, we need to repopulate the planet. It'd be our privilege. I just have one quick question. Are you guys related to dogs by any chance? No, we're much more related to the praying mantis. Oh, because you love to pray? No, because we eat the heads of our mates when we're done. Okay, well, I'll go back to the ship then. See you there, buddy. <sighs> it was really nice meeting you guys. I have to go. I'm just gonna grab this head. <laughs> Sadly, we couldn't stay. So we return to our ship for our next adventure. Next stop on the list, Normius Minor. Every woman on that planet is married, skip it! Okay, passing over. Oh! What's up? Oh, what do you think? Uh, well, if I were to guess, I'd say you probably stumbled into another one of my glorious piles of feces. Oh. My super pretty feces saved our lives, okay? You should thank me, not be complaining about it. Okay, hey, write me a letter on that stationery I got you for your birthday. No, I'll write you an email. It's just better when it's handwritten. You know, it means more. It's got like a warming feeling when you read something that was handwritten, you know. All these emails that we're passing to each other all the time, we're not connected. We're losing touch. Okay, I'm gonna go tan now. <laughs>